chapter five. All right, this is clearly the last one. There's no more room over here. So chapter five, senior year of college, 2006. All right, we got an elephant, snake, whale, penguin, 300, Borat, cars, and high school musical. And then you guys aren't even giving me like names anymore. You're just giving me the album covers and you assume I know what it is. I assume this is Justin Timberlake. But outside of that, I, I got nothing. I got I got nothing. It's just absolutely nothing. So we'll go with the cute little penguin. <laughs> I got, that's all I got. <laughs> she signed in and is not talking to me. That's never a good sign. Let's look at our buddy list first. All right, Brad, looking for a band. He's a guitarist. To those I've wronged, let's play one more song. Uh, I just want to break you down so badly in the worst way. <laughs> Taking Back Sunday. I have not thought about Taking Back Sunday in a long time. Uh, this ship is taking me far away, far away from the memories of people who care if I live or die. Of the people who care if I live or die. That's one of my favorite songs. That's Starlight by Muse. It's it's a song that kind of needs to be looked into, though. Otherwise, you'll just think it's a love song, and it's, and it's not. It's, this is what the song is about right there. Life is too short to wait. This is the time of your life, but you just can't tell. No. Innovator and entrepreneur, president of Synergy Applications. Make your business work for you. It's not about ideas. It's about making ideas happen. I should have hung out with Mike. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. That is my chemical romance, the Black Parade. Just can't do it anymore. I need to get away. I should really be talking to Travis. California, rest in peace. Seriously, like Travis needs somebody to talk to him now. I'm stuck in a coma, stuck in a never-ending sleep. Someday I'll wake up and realize I made up everything. Senses fail. I don't know senses fail. I am not my mistakes. Apparently she's made a few. I just really need to take some time and find myself. Things are not going good for Jules either. Like, everybody's falling apart around me. Uh, then Emily, it's hard to argue when you won't stop making sense. But my tongue still misbehaves and it keeps digging my own grave. Oh my god, I know all these songs and I can't play some. You won't stop making sense, but my tongue still misbehaves and it keeps digging. You won't stop making sense. I'm like once again, I'm like going through the same bands. Like Weezer? No. Incubus? I don't think so. Hoobastank? No, it's not Hoobastank. That's a real name of a real band for those of you that are too young to remember. It might be Hooba Stink, though. Uh, we'll walk from this dark room for the last time. The past is just that. Hey, aren't I a cute little penguin? <laughs> I got nothing. Hey, shit, she, she's typing capitals here. She's, she's going formal on me. How are you? I'm good. You know, if you just, how are you? Um, things could be better. Let's say that. Things could be better because things aren't good between us, Emily. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And she doesn't have any follow-up questions? <sighs> she does not care about us anymore. I'm reading way too much into conversations, but this is totally what I did when I was in high school and college. So I'm used to this. Uh, how, how have you been? How, how are you doing? Everything's been really good. You have any plans this weekend? What are you up to tonight? What's new in your life? So she kind of called us out because we kind of had this like one night stand type thing. Um, so I'm not going to give specifics this time. So what's new in your life? What's new in your life? Let's not let's not ask specifics of like tonight or this weekend or anything. Not a whole lot really, just finishing up college, right? Cause it's senior year. Oh, I don't know if you knew, me and Brad got back together. Ah, damn it. Uh, that's great. Good for you, even after that awful breakup. Let's not bring that up. I'm sure she, she knows. We'll just say that's great. That's great. It's great for you. I'll just be here. Having a bad time. How's your friend Emma doing? Yeah. 
This is the time of your life that you just can't tell. Life is too short to wait. Wait, what? You look good on the dance floor. Arctic monkeys. Okay, sure. Haven't thought about Arctic monkeys in a while either. Uh, not not that great. She started dating Mike. So now I barely see her. Oh, I'm sorry. And I have other friends. It's whatever. I couldn't care less. I'll just say I have other friends. You know? I got, I got all the different fingers on my left hand. Well, college is almost over anyways. Um, can you believe we're almost adults? Damn it, we're adults now. Uh, will you miss it? Can you believe we're almost adults? It flew by, don't you think? I'll say, will you miss it? Will you miss it? Yeah, I guess so, but I'm excited to be done too. Um, we had some good times. High school was so long ago. Do you miss high school? Why am I bringing up high school? I don't want to say we had some good times because the only times that we had together, she's upset about. So I'm going to say, do you miss high school? Because we had better times in high school. Do you miss high school at all? Not really. <laughs> yeah, nobody, n nobody I know really misses high school. <laughs> I'd rather not think about the past though. Um, um, okay. We'll just we'll just go with that. I don't recognize her picture at all. I'm just tired of reliving memories. Uh, any plans for graduation? All set for graduation. Any projects left? Uh, we'll go with plans for graduation. Do you have plans for graduation? Like I made one mistake as far as I can tell, and that's like I'm screwed up for the rest of this because I picked the dorm. Oh no, oh, not really. I know my family's coming up and stuff. You gonna move back home? It's uh, 2006, so yes. Uh, what's Brad doing after graduation? What are you doing this summer? Um, we'll ask about the summer. She wants to look ahead. What are you doing this summer? She wants to look ahead. and It doesn't sound like I'm trying to get her to come over or anything. Just hang out here with Brad and try to find a job. What did you do last weekend? How's your week been going? Can we talk about things? Can we talk about things? Seriously. Let's just pull it out there. What? Don't delete all of that. I said, how dare you, game? I wanted to bring it up. They changed it to do anything fun recently? Are you kidding me? Not really. I've just been working. Could I see you this summer? Once again, I'm not going to do that. What are you doing right now? What would you do today? What'd you do today? Let's let's start with the basics. Just school and now homework. So how's school? I mean, she's been short with me ever since we hooked up in my dorm room over the weekend. It's good, same old, same old. Got any concerts lately? I'm really stretching here, man. I'm trying to avoid all this stuff where it's like goodbye or like talk about me not really i'm busy with school will we ever be the way we were goodbye goodbye i failed i lost <laughs> i'm the last ditch effort here will we ever be the way will we ever <sighs> they changed it will we ever be the way we were they changed it to watching good movies lately this is conversations that i have with people now i swear to god like co-workers and people like that like you watch tv no movies no internet what do you do give me something no not really is this it for us and then of course he deletes it how's the weather <laughs> this is getting pathetic it's been all right yeah it looks like we're done goodbye i have failed okay i think i'm going to go goodbye okay bye and then I turn away. Emily is away. So I feel like I failed that. And I feel like I could have had a happy, happy life with Emily. Um, if I knew she was going to get back together with Brad, I probably would have gone with Emma. <sighs> she had good taste in music sometimes. But uh, that's Emily is away. And that's one of the ways that uh, that can go. Um, I feel like I could redo 
chapter three. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take care of that off screen, and uh, I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'll choose like walk around campus instead of just in the dorm room. Actually, I want to change a little bit more. I forgot about this part where I messed up uh, this because I accidentally clicked when I didn't want to click. Uh, I want to do why did you break up? We will we will talk about that. Why did you break up? Remember, she broke up with Brad. I, I've done pretty much everything the same up to this point. I just we I guess we just kind of grew apart. I feel like Brad changed a lot over the summer. Yeah, I've been there. And things were just different when we got back. Oh man, now I'm starting to cry. All right, so uh, I'm so sorry, um, but it's his loss. You're amazing. You're an amazing person. Right, so we're kind of going back on the same path. Thanks. I'm sorry for being such a mess, and we're going to go with you're not a mess. You're just sad, and that's totally okay. So once again, we're fixing all that, and then we're going to get to the part very soon here. All right, we haven't had a chance to, to vent yet. We'll go with, well, of course, and then she's going to offer to come over. Oh, right, no, we, we got to go through this again. All right, I'll meet you when when she's actually going to come over then. All right, so what do you want to do this weekend? Let's say some stuff around campus. I feel like that's the better option. I, I feel like none of these are good options. Like, I should take her, like, outside of campus. Maybe that's what around campus means, but whenever I hear around campus, I think, like, on campus. So, yeah, just whatever around campus. Yay. Just some random stuff that's out there, and we'll see how this changes uh, forward. Uh, we don't need any alcohol. Let's say no. Let's say no. We don't need any. We're not going to do alcohol this, this time at all. Uh, you and me, we don't react well to alcohol. Okay, I'm so excited to finally come and visit. Oh, shit, I actually have to run. All right, so I'll see you this weekend, okay? See you soon. Bye. And then she's off. All right. So I'm hoping that things are working better now. I don't know why I'm suddenly obsessed with dating Emily, but damn it, this has to happen. This has to happen. We're going to go with System of a Down again. I still don't know what that is. Hey. Hey. Once again, I'm more excited because I have an exclamation point. I know it's been a while since we last talked. Um, that's okay. Uh, apparently, we still don't talk much. I've just been going through a lot lately. Everything up. Wait, did still think. Did There's no way I screwed this up still. Everything's fine. But. But. So listen, I was hoping we could talk about things. Of course. Wait, am I. Am I screwed kind of no matter what here? I just feel like things are weird. Why are things still weird between us? Have you felt like that? I haven't noticed anything because I wasn't paying attention, but I'm going to empathize. I'm going to say yes. I feel weird too. I think it's because of last year. What? We went around campus. Things have been weird since I came to visit. Steven, please be honest with me. I'll try. Did you plan that we would... This still the same thing? Uh, I thought it was a possibility. Still, We're still saying it was possible. We're still saying it was possible, right? In retrospect, what do you mean planned out? No alcohol around campus. I mean, we hung out with your friends around campus. And then we go back to your dorm to spend the night. Are you shitting me? Must have known how vulnerable I was. I didn't... I didn't think it was an issue. Or I, no, I'm going to say I didn't... None of these are good answers. I should not have slept with her. You seemed fine. You wanted to hook up. I don't know. <sighs> okay, I just... What do you have to say about this now, Emily? I don't know. Do you regret coming over? Like, I... So... I should have said no, don't come over. 
Okay, no, she doesn't regret it. Just a lot happened really quickly. It just made me feel differently. All right. I'm gonna do that again, and this time she's not fucking coming over. Is there a way to win this? I feel like there's not a way to win this. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see this through to the end, see if anything changes, and then I'm gonna go back and redo some stuff to try. I'm gonna try, damn it. Okay. Third try. If I can't get it right this time, I'm just gonna have to walk away. I'm not gonna go through all the different options here. So I don't know. It's kind of stupid, I guess. Uh, she wonders if, if things would have been different if I kissed her. So I'm gonna say I've wondered that too. I'm not gonna push hard on I wish I had kissed you. I'm gonna say I've, I've wondered that too. I, I, I haven't I haven't come to a conclusion. I've just thought about it. I've wondered that too. Hey, I have an idea. All right, I, I guess it doesn't necessarily matter what I say there. All right, so she's going to offer to come over this weekend. I'm going to say no because I, I actually went through a couple different options in the last chapter, and it definitely sounds like the, the correct answer here is to not let her come. Um... As long as it's just as friends, you can... Maybe... Shit. As long as it's just as friends. I'll say yes, but as long as it's just... Just as friends, so... I chose to establish boundaries. All right. Oh, of course, I'm not looking for anything like that. Yes, you were. Okay, hey, what about your plans with Emma? Um, I'll talk to her about it. Like, Emma does not like when I talk to her about it, but we'll see what I can do. Okay, I just don't want to mess things up. What do you want to do this weekend? This is not working out. This still is not working out. Some stuff around campus. Just whatever around campus. Parties is bad. Hanging out in the dorm is bad. Let's go somewhere. Sounds good to me. Should I bring my alcohol? We don't need alcohol. I'm trying to set boundaries here. I'm trying to be friendly. And, and you're totally trying to hook up with me here. Damn it, Emily. Okay, I'm excited to finally come and visit. Oh, shit, I have to run. Okay. All right, see you soon. So she's coming over. And we're going to see the results of this in the next chapter. Me, okay, so even though I said this was going to be the final one, I'm going to also, if this doesn't work, then I am going to try saying, no, you cannot come. And and it sounds so mean for me to say that. What did I do here? System of Down. That's right. And I did finally figure out what her 2006 logo is. It's the notebook. It took me a while, but I got it. All right. Um, shit, she's not excited anymore. Just a period. Period is bad. She's still upset. Uh, that's okay. I feel like it's still gonna be bad for me here. Uh, everything okay? How, how does this end up? Everything's fine. But, she wants to talk to me. Okay. Is, things are still weird between us? We still hooked up? I feel weird too because we don't talk very often and we should talk more than once a year. How about that for awkward? I think it's because of last year. Things have been weird since I came to visit. Please be, yeah, please be honest with me. Did you have feelings for me when I visited? All right, so things have at least changed here a little bit. We didn't, we didn't hook up. But did you have feelings for me when I visited? I'm going to say maybe, I don't know, because things are freaking complicated right now, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's more complicated. I don't know. Damn it, it's more complicated. That was a better answer. Stick with your guts, baller scuba. Then why didn't anything happen between us? <sighs> I didn't want to mess things up. Because you were freaking on the rebound. That's why, Emily. That's why we didn't do it. Didn't want to mess things up. You should have, you should have made a move. No. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just had a lot of feelings for you. What, they're gone now? Like you couldn't talk to me again after this? Damn it, Emily, this is starting to be your fault. And I think I might be better off without you, Emily. And I felt like our lives have finally, had finally lined up. Uh, do you regret, 
regret coming to visit. Okay, I'm definitely starting to feel like there's no way to actually win this. Just felt like if we ever had a time, it was then. It just made me feel differently. Shit. Different than what? Different than what, Emily? Just from how things were before. Will we ever be the same? Will we ever be the same, Emily? Is it possible to actually date you in this damn game? I really don't know. I'm sorry, things are just really weird for me right now. She doesn't want to talk anymore. Thank you for talking to me. Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe we can still salvage this? All right, I'll meet you when something changes. Well, it doesn't look like I've made really any difference as a result of the decisions that I have made, so we're just gonna have to say goodbye to Emily. I think I'm gonna go. Goodbye. It, it just doesn't seem like there was ever a way to get this to work between us. She then just becomes the girl that got away for us. And I don't necessarily think that there's going to be a way for us to actually do it. I haven't looked it up, but that's the impression that I get. That it, it doesn't feel like I did anything wrong. I d might have had a, a couple answers that weren't the best possible answers, but it definitely does not feel like this is something that uh, could have been saved. Which kind of depresses me. But it also makes it uh, very, uh, very nostalgic for me. I remember a lot of this kind of stuff happening where it's just that it was not going to happen despite me trying to my best to make it happen. At least now I can, get, can go back in time and see that there's nothing I could have done. Maybe that's, that's a positive for me. But with that done, that is going to do it for these parts of Baller Makes Bad Decisions. This time in more ways than one. And this has been Emily is Away. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.